to spend my money here so that my Jamaican people can get it. But when I came here, I was sorry that I made the house. It's like a nightmare. Every day I get up, it's like I'm in a dream. What is going on in this country with this crime and violence? Welcome to another J Crazy News Headlines and a special Thursday evening to those who are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers. The police in New York are yet to establish a motive based on the killing of former reggae boy and also former Tivoli Gardens FC player who was Jamie Robinson. Now on Tuesday was alleged that he was shot and killed by a lone gunman after leaving a club. Now Robinson was killed at exactly 4.30 a.m. at the corner of Hollis Avenue and 199 Street in Hollis, Queens, New York. Now this murder might be out of New York's league. I wouldn't say out of New York's league because even though this murder happened in New York, Queens, New York to be exact, Robinson's killing could have been orchestrated all the way from Kingston, Jamaica, West Kingston to be exact. Now, if he was in any mix up in New York, the police or investigators would have found out already. He was killed on Tuesday morning and now today is Thursday. And you know in America they are pretty advanced when it comes down to investigation than and finding results quickly. Now I said before, the killing of Jamie Robinson could have been orchestrated all the way from West Kingston, Jamaica. Now, what the questions we could ask, was this a hit? Was this attempted robbery? The news made no mention of that. However, again we can ask why was he murdered? And if the killing of Jamie Robinson was orchestrated from all the way West Kingston, one could ponder as to what or who gave the orders. Now Robinson was from Pink Lane in West Kingston, however he played for Tivoli Gardens FC and also was a former Reggae Boys player. Now I said before in this video, his killing could have been orchestrated all the way from West Kingston. However, it's going to be very interesting on what the New York police can find out when it comes down to collecting evidence and also I'm hoping that they can work with the Jamaica authorities to solve this murder case and connect the dots because I strongly believe that somebody Someone in Jamaica orchestrated this killing. However, this remains to be seen. The police are investigating. And to the family of Jamie Robinson, condolences and may soul rest in peace. Now it was the parish of St. Catherine. Gregory Park to be exact on the school compound of Gregory Park Primary where this morning around 8 a.m. there was a shootout between police and two alleged criminal elements. Now based on information around 2 a.m. two men were seen jumping over into the school grounds of Gregory Park Primary. Now based on information a officer who was on the school compound accosted the two men when they opened fire 
at the police officer. However, the police returned fire towards the two men, resulting in a shootout. After the smoke was clear, the two were seen suffering from gunshot wounds. One died on the spot, the other taken to the hospital for gunshot treatment. Now, the key right now is the alleged criminal element who was shot and killed by the police officer on the school grounds this morning about 8 a.m. Now, them call him Don Raya, who you see on your screen right now. Now, during this alleged exchange of gunfire, it sent students and staff members into a terrifying moment. Now, the principal of Gregory Park Primary, who is Richard Williams, hosts counseling sessions for the students and also staff members, and the school was closed for the day. Now, to my viewers and my subscribers, I've said this time and time again that crime, violence, bloodshed, or even mayhem can happen any and everywhere in Jamaica. And you have seen another case of a shooting occurring on a school grounds. Now, I don't know if these two men or why these two men were seen on the school ground. That the results end up in a shootout, leaving one man dead. Now, persons who are close to Dan Royal say that it was the shootout. So you know who will say all these things. That's right, it's always women who are defending these alleged criminal elements and they always say all manner of evil towards the JCF and them can always tell you what happened and say that there is no shootout even if they weren't on the scene to witness that them always can tell you you know what truly transpired when it comes down to an innocent person or a child being killed them always go mute. They never yet see. But as soon as the police kill a alleged criminal element, them can't tell you what time I said before. Them can't tell you who was the police officer. What kind of gun he use. Which location. If rain did fall. Or it was sunshine. Even if they weren't there. And here, the actual dilemma. The persons who are saying that this youth was killed in cold blood and it was a shootout to begin with, they're not even living in Jamaica. They live overseas. Your yeah, man, the old female Cresmite them who love criminal elements and they glorify them. They're the ones who are always coming to defense. Now it towards the parish of Hanover, where on Tuesday night, Nikki Ennis, aka Big Star, who you see on your screen right now, were shot and killed by criminal elements. Also, his alleged son was shot and injured in the attack. Now this happened in Cardwell, Hanover. Now Nikki was said to be behind a killing of a man who was Nikki's friend, which happened in March. So his killing on Tuesday night is a reprisal for the attack which took place in March. Now, based on information, this feud which is taking place in Green Island and certain areas has to do with lottery scam. Friend killing friend, friend turning enemies. As I always said in a lot of videos, lottery scamming, scamming feud is one of the main reasons as to why Jamaica 
has uncontrollable violence. And the scammers always say no. The police feel leave scammers alone. But the scammers are creating major violence across the 14 parishes of Jamaica. Reason being, these scammers, they were friends. Them start chop together, money now share right, bad man come into play, feud happen, disagreement, and it turned bloody. It's like these youths forget them friendship and follow the money more than anything in this world. And the results are always bloody because they are killing each other. Some of these youths they went to school together, even from the same community, but because of scamming money, they are no enemies. So, JCF to leave scammers alone? I don't think so, because you're all contributing to the flow of violence and bloodshed in Jamaica. You're the ones who are buying guns, funding criminal organizations, and killing friends who you grew up with over illicit funds. Oh, this aspiring criminal element was seen on a video showing a gun. Now I'm going to show you the video shortly. Now, this video says a lot that many of the Jamaican youths, they don't want better in life. They don't want to be positive role models in life. Their only aim is to become a criminal element. Their only desire is to hold a rifle, a Glock, a 9mm and so on. Their only desire is to shed blood and create mayhem. So you could preach like Paul, they won't learn, they won't take heed, they won't do better. Me have it, 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 Yeah man, I'm here to see a black legend I'm here to represent for Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel So watch, like, comment, subscribe and share out the thing Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel In review news and entertainment Celebrity lifestyle movements are free Jay Crazy not playing in my review the thing then Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel In review news and entertainment Celebrity lifestyle movements are free Jay Crazy not playing in my review the thing then we do the thing then, we do the thing then Jack Crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle We do the thing then, we do the thing then Jack Crazy